Welcome to Can You Draw Flowcharts with AL in Business Central? Hey, I'm Eric, and um, I was working today on a project for a customer where we were actually building a state machine inside Business Central to control a lot of things. Um, and the complexity of this state machine um, is substantial. There's a lot of possibility where I kind of if then scenarios and so on so on so I think this project would need a visualization of, of the state machines like a flowchart um, so I started hunting for you know, something some sort of a toolkit to help me draw a flowchart and then I stopped and said Actually, I found thing one that I, I wanted to try, and then I, I kind of stopped and said, "Hmm, maybe I should bring uh, bring you guys along." Um, so um, here we are, and this is a uh, flowchart.js.org, and and you kind of describe the flowchart in a small language where you define what your boxes are and then you define how they're connected and this seems pretty easy and there's not that much code here um, so why don't we see if we can get this uh, this working and just to avoid you guys looking at boilerplating I grabbed the uh, the solution I had for for control add-ins, uh, the rescaling. If you haven't seen that video, maybe you're not a subscriber, you might consider becoming a subscriber, and then you can see how this orange blob came to be. That's actually also, I think I did another video, but I also used this piece of code. Anyway, so let's see if we can turn the orange blob um, into a flowchart instead. Um, and looking at this thing here um, to use flowchart depends on the Raphael whatever that is uh, um, that's a drawing thing that's fine so what we can actually do is that we can just grab the file that does sit here. So let's grab all this minified thing and go back in here and let's, oh, that's too much. Let's create a file, uh, Raphael, I think it was called, .js. We paste all this good stuff in, save that. And then there were another one this guy so let's see what's what we have here it's kind of same thing so we'll call that one maybe we should flow chart that's latest was that the name we'll paste this thing in that's late latest okay um and then we need to you can pass the text, so we need... Okay, so let's actually start by just uh, bringing some sanity back into this piece of code. So uh, let's look at the startup script and let's get rid of the... Let's get rid of the orange blob here, the coral colored blob. Um, that's good. Um, maybe we should just uh, so control in has those two important files. Um, the th three important files. The first one is the actual control in that describes our add-in. Um, so that is the first important file. The next one is the startup JSON that runs when it's loaded, and then scripts, script or scripts which are the ones that are containing stuff that can be called later. So I think we might as well uh, Raphael.js and flowchart-latest.js. Uh, 
and the red squiggly lines disappear. So I think I got this right. And here's some data. Oh, we did we talk JSON with Brazil. So let's create a procedure called draw. And uh, we need to pass something into this. So that's probably the code definition here. Basically, there's just two lines of code to actually do this. That's pretty, pretty cool. So we need to code. That looks like a text draw, and then we need to. So this is in the control line. So we need to implement that. So we go into our the one called script and create a function called draw code. And we're gonna grab these two. And I'm just going to do one thing here. I'm going to create a catch e just so there's a thing with sometimes errors are getting lost in translation because they have them inside the uh, the iframe and um, so this one needs code as parameter and this one is I think that if we go back and look yeah there's a div called diagram ID diagram so we're gonna grab the the div you know we know the name of the div because the div is actually just this one so we can simply put that in here And then let's find our test, test page. And instead of talking JSON, let's ignore that for a second. And um, curve page extra draw. Then we need to pass something. Uh, how about we just go full something and grab all this here? Do we want to create? Uh, maybe we want to create, what are we doing here? We're doing a grid. So do we want to create a, uh, a place where we can put the code in? So var the code text field uh, the code application area equal one multi line equal true and then draw the code um, in that case we're not going to do it up here on on this guy we're going to do it did I put it into a repeater I'm going to take it out of it are you yelling at me now <laughs> it's okay to yell at me how are we doing do it like this and then we take this field and move out of the repeater because that is clearly never going to do us anything good. We might even just get rid of the repeater right now. How about that? Uh, was that too optimistic? Did I break something? I Wow, I put this in here. I'm really messing up today. I think I'm good now. Does it compile? It does. Let's hit a five, see if uh, this blows up or... Well, problem number one. Now this page is not in edit mode. So page type list edit true. We don't really need a source table anymore. Uh, and now that we don't have a source table, I don't think we can edit. Let's actually just put the source table back. I'm just, at this point, I'm just, instead of doing it right, I'm just doing it wrong. 
edit list. Okay, so let's grab this thing and paste in here and tap out. Hey, <laughs> that was actually easier than I, I thought it would be. We got a diagram. Let's, uh, what happens if we put in another one? There were some other ones, the fancy ones down here. Copy. Well, since this is a, okay, so I don't, I think this one is creating a, uh, an SVG. Uh, so we might want to be a bit more fancy and create a uh, scroll bars on, uh, on, on the div if we wanted to make this serious. Uh, but that was, that was surprisingly painless, painless to do. Let's grab another one. So I think oh, uh, this one, a big one. This one is also big. Let's see if a small one here. This guy, let's see what happens. Where are we? We are not in this one, not in that one, or that one, but this one. Oh, I think, okay, I think we need to just do one small improvement to this. Um, did we actually give that a name at some point? So, so okay. I think what we want to do, not here, but here, is say control dot inner HTML equal blank, because I think it's we're just adding uh, the SVG to. Uh, Not control that in, but let's grab. Or did I, oh, did I select everything? No, I don't think I did. That was surprisingly easy. Just, uh, let's just uh, run over what we actually did. We added two JSON files, flowchart latest and Raphael um, as files to our project in um, in our control add-in thingy. We add a function called draw. In our script, we added a function called draw. Uh, clear the field, parse the, the code, draw it on whatever div you have selected. And in 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 AL we just call the draw on validate from where we enter the code. I think that's it. That was uh that was easy. Um, so uh, if you need to, to draw some flowcharts in in AL, that's probably a good starting place. Uh, I'm gonna turn off the video now and then. I'm totally going to put this into the customer solution and, and then we'll see how it goes. Uh, if you want to see more AL coding, you know where to look right here and uh, I'll see you there. Take care. Bye.